I welcome you today to Covenant Keepers Ministries and our video devotional for today, Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. And we're talking about extreme discipleship or ultimate discipleship. Our disciples are zealous. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, because I haven't said this earlier, but while disciples, disciples can be of any age, a five-year-old can make a serious and extreme decision. The day I want to talk to you about making an extreme commitment. The decision is to follow Jesus. The commitment is to obey everything Jesus has commanded. Everything is commanded. Obey every bit of it. Jesus is looking for people whose commitment is to love the Lord their God with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their might, with all their strength. Christ wants us to invest all our spiritual energies in making disciples who separate themselves from the world. Those who believe, those who have become converted, those who have been transformed by the Holy Spirit must come out of the current evil world system and be separate. Not my words, that's the Bible's words. Extreme commitment is knowing that you are who you are following and the one you're following can make no mistakes. God is, was, and will be error-free in everything he does and everything he says, period. You and I make a commitment to obey him in everything. Jesus said in John 13, 17, if you know these things, happy are you if you do them. It's one thing to know them, but the happiness, the joy in our spirit comes when we do them. I know when I lay my head on the pillow at night that I have been successful today if I obeyed God. And if I haven't, I want to repent of it and have a clean slate when I get up in the morning. Extreme commitment knows no limit to followership. Extreme commitment says, all I need to do is obey my leader. When we have an extreme commitment, we've obligated ourselves. We've made a vow. We've promised and we've pledged. I'm going to follow through on what I told you I was going to do, God. And I'm asking you right now for the strength, the physical strength, the spiritual strength, the willpower to do what I told you I'd do because I want to obey you. It's just so important for us to observe how Jesus was concerning the Father. Because remember, he took on human flesh and came and dwelt among us. He who left the splendor of heaven. And so he demonstrated he was just going to obey the Father while he was here. He said in John 5, 19, and I read it, Then Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, that's the Father, the Son also does in like manner. He was going to obey his Father. He came in flesh. He still had to submit himself, and he did. Jesus also made it clear about his conversation in John 12, 49 and 50. He said, For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. So I'm not going to talk out of line. I'm reading what God says to me in his word. I'm, I'm hearing what the Holy Spirit is speaking into my, my mind and into my spirit. And I'm simply choosing to obey it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to repeat his actions. You know, after that initial scene where Jesus was arrested in the garden that I alluded to on, on Monday and it's in the devotional, we could pick any one of the gang I started with except Judas Iscariot and watch the extreme commitment they made to Christ. After the resurrection and receiving power from on high at Pentecost, I'm telling you, they made an extreme commitment to obey what Jesus had taught them. They proceeded to fulfill what Jesus prophesied in John 14, 12, greater works than these shall you do because I go to my Father. 
followers of Jesus Christ have made an extreme decision and a extreme commitment. I want to ask you if you're that kind of follower. Have you been willing to obey him in everything? Or have there been those times when you were sure, because you know the voice of the master, that he spoke to you to pray with somebody in a grocery store or at a Target or Walmart or somewhere in, in a public park? And, you know, I don't know if that was God. Just go ahead and do it. Just, you heard it in your spirit. It was impressed upon you. Just go ahead and do it. Just obey. Are you holding back anywhere right now? Has he spoken to you about giving something to someone? Praying for someone? Going and doing some good deed for someone? Is there anything you need to repent of right now? I just challenge you. Just do it. Come on. Just repent. And let's practice obedience. Extreme commitment. I'm going to obey everything he's told me. Wow, Father, that's a good word. And I'm sure we all need help with it. Help me be more sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. But more than that, I've read your word over and over again. Help me obey what I already know. Help me do it. Just obey what you've said in your word. So I, I pray with your disciples in Acts 4, grant unto your servant boldness that I might speak your word. And I pray that over everyone who watches this video, grant unto your servants that we may speak your word. And your word's going forth with authority and power to change lives, transform people, save marriages, deliver from alcohol and drugs and, and sexual promiscuity and set people free from addictions and habits that displease you. No, we're not going by ourselves, God. Help us obey because we're going with the authority of your word and the power of your Holy Spirit. And what will hinder us but our flesh? Just our flesh. So we mortify it now in Jesus' name and say we're planning on obeying. Thank you. Amen. It's your day. It's your day to obey. And just serve Christ with all your heart. Have a great day as you do it. God bless.